discover five unbelievable security measures put in place to protect Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia. From advanced surveillance systems to elite security details, these protection systems will leave you in awe. Watch the video to learn more about the extreme measures taken to ensure Vladimir Putin's safety in various scenarios. Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, is considered one of the three most powerful people on the planet today. His leadership in various areas such as the economy, commerce and military makes the protection of the number one an absolute priority. Although rarely mentioned, Putin has been the target of at least four assassination attempts in his more than 20 years in power. This video, based on extensive research, will present five security systems and measures implemented to protect him. Armored Limousine In 2018, Putin received one of the world's safest presidential vehicles, comparable to the American Beast. This vehicle, the Aura Senate, is 662 meters long and 169 meters high, powered by a V8 engine with 598 horsepower, designed in collaboration with Porsche engineers. This vehicle weighs 6.5 tons due to its special armor and can reach speeds of up to 210 kilometers per hour. Its bodywork resembles Rolls-Royce cars and its interior is very luxurious. Additionally, it is a hybrid with an alternative electric motor. The Aura Senate is heavily armored, capable of withstanding ammunition from semi-automatic and automatic weapons and even direct explosions. Although the exact details of its ballistic protection are not known, the car can withstand almost any attack. The cabin is airtight and has an oxygen supply, allowing occupants to remain enclosed for several hours. The tires are designed to continue functioning, even if punctured or damaged. Additionally, the vehicle has a blood reserve from Putin for transfusions in case of emergency. The Aura Senate was unveiled to the public in May 2018 after undergoing rigorous endurance tests, including extreme conditions in the Siberian winter. Its cost is around $192 million, including its hybrid engine and special armor. Other vehicles in Putin's security convoy? Besides the Aura Senate, there are two other vehicles in his security convoy. The Aurus Commandant, an armored SUV, and the Aurus Escort, an electric motorcycle with an adjustable windshield and a top speed of 240 kilometers per hour. The President's limousine is accompanied by five to seven security cars and several police vehicles that control traffic to ensure smooth travel. Russian presidential plane, world leaders possess some of the best planes for efficient and safe travel, but the Russian government takes this to another level. Vladimir Putin's plane is a highly modified Ilyushin Il-96-300, practically a flying armored palace. This four-engine plane has a cruising speed exceeding 855 km/h and can reach a maximum of 900 km/h. Its maximum range without refueling is 13,000 km, allowing travel to almost any part of the world. Putin's office on board exceeds 10 square meters and is decorated with tapestries inlaid with gold and precious stones. The plane also includes a lounge with a full bed, a gym, and birchwood furniture with an interior design completed according to sketches by Ivan Glazunov, son of the renowned artist Ilya Glazunov. The plane has a full range of protection measures against possible attacks, including a special coating to make it less visible to enemy radars, automatic interference systems, jammers, and an air defense system against laser-guided missiles. Few details of the plane are publicly known and are considered state secrets. The Russian presidential plane also has a communication suite to lead the country in wartime and an escape capsule. Every time Putin flies, the flight plan is classified and is escorted by Russian fighter jets like the Sukhoi Su-27 and Su-57, which deters any potential attacker. The Kremlin and the Russian Superfortress The Kremlin, a fortified complex in the center of Moscow, has been a symbol of Russian authority and power for centuries. Since 1991, it has been the official residence of the President of the Russian Federation, although Putin does not live there. The security of the Kremlin is relentless, and it is considered one of the most fortified buildings on the planet. Its walls, built between 1485 and 1495 by Italian masters, are between 3.5 and 6.5 meters thick and enclose impressive Russian architecture, including five palaces, four cathedrals, and several towers. 
The Kremlin is under strict surveillance with guards known as the Presidential Regiment, a special military unit of the Federal Protective Service of Russia. Applicants for this regiment must meet rigorous standards such as being tall and having acute hearing. Although the soldiers may appear archaic, they are an elite force ready to do anything to protect the Russian complex, using sensors, cameras, alarms and FSO officers stationed everywhere. The Arsenal Tower The Arsenal Tower is one of the most inaccessible areas of the Kremlin, believed to hold many of the most important state secrets. The Kremlin also has special measures to combat drone flights with espionage intentions or GPS-guided weapons. During celebrations such as Victory Day, snipers are visible in the high areas of the Kremlin and its surroundings. Elite Presidential Guard, the Federal Security Service of Russia, is a powerful and secretive intelligence service with over 50,000 agents. They work closely with the Presidential Security Service, SBP, which is responsible for the direct protection of President Putin. The SBP has about 9,000 members, including technical analysts and three rings of bodyguards. The first ring is very close to the president, the second operates hidden among the crowd, dressed as civilians, and the third ensures that intruders do not penetrate the middle and close rings. Their main task is to anticipate and prevent dangers, ensuring the president's safety at all times. Presidential Protection Services, comprising thousands of agents, these services have special rights to carry out their functions, such as conducting phone taps and searches without court orders, detaining citizens, recruiting and using secret informants and confiscating cars without any special permission. They control 12 streets in Moscow, where the most important state agencies are located, and all local residents are under surveillance to prevent attacks. The agents receive specialized training in advanced executive protection and have access to the most modern weapons in the Russian arsenal. They usually wear Kevlar bulletproof vests with protection levels ranging from 3 to 6 and occasionally carry Kevlar briefcases and umbrellas for additional protection in case of an attack. Vladimir Putin, it is no secret that Vladimir Putin is a former agent of the KGB, the Soviet Union's equivalent to the CIA. Little is known about his training and the activities he carried out as a spy in East Germany during the Cold War, but his rise to the highest office in Russia suggests that he completed important missions. Additionally, Putin is an expert in judo and enjoys hunting and shooting. He has been seen on many occasions testing firearms of various categories and even military vehicles such as fighter jets. In summary, Putin has enough knowledge and tactical skills to not be an easy target if all security measures fail. His experience as a former spy of a powerful intelligence agency makes him a unique case, as it is not every day that a president is a former spy. This means that, in the event of an assassination attempt, Putin would know how to protect himself. That's all. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram where there's great content every day.